Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we are doing a Tamaki Exitioner by Karamatsu underscore girl. Um not gonna waste you guys this time, so let's get into it. Being in school wasn't easy. It wasn't fun either. There was so much expected of you, and this would often turn into pressure that could easily break a weak-willed student. You, however, were used to these expectations. You were determined to succeed even if it meant listening to a teacher drone on about rules for heroes. The only hurdle in your way, however, seemed to be other students. You were a social and talkative person, but you just had no certain group of people who you, no matter how hard you tried, could not get along with. The one person who could instantly calm you down would be none other than your boyfriend, Tamaki Amajiki. Tamaki was the nervous type who lacked confidence in himself, but had the courage to confess to you after constant motivational prep pep talks from his friend, Nejere. The two of you had been together for a few months, and you were content. He was so cute, and with his, and with how bashful he could be at times, but asserted himself when he wanted to express his feelings for you. Class was close to its end, and you were feeling pretty in need of Tomoki. When the bell rang, your teacher ran out of the class. Crap, I have to use it. Class dismissed, he yelled. You quickly packed your things and were ready to book it when a certain conversation caught your ear. That YN, seeing her with Tomoki makes me sick. He deserves so much better than them, don't you think? Said a classmate that you were not particularly fond of. She struck a nerve as she paused, knowing that you heard and continued to badmouth your relationship. You balled your hand into a fist and turned around, only to see her smirking at you. You really suck at whispering, you said as calmly as possible. Maybe that wasn't my intention, genius, she spat. You seethed. Leave Tomaki out of this. Neither of us have anything to do with you, so mind your own fucking business and shut it before I make you. A few boys owed and watched the scene with interest. We're gonna call the classmate Honey. Honey stood up from her desk and walked over to you. When she stood before you, you had the desperate urge to punch them in the face, but you wanted them to apologize first. Your relationship is a joke, they said slowly. That's it, you thought. You grabbed her you grabbed their wrists and pulled them into the hallway. The ones in the classroom followed and called for others to watch the potential fight. Hon Honey struggled under your tight grip and when you reached the center of the hall you let go. Apologize and you don't get hurt, you said. They laughed. As if, I think you should be the one backing down. You tossed your bag to the side and took off your jacket. Some people in the crowd chanted your name while others motivated Hani. You've got bark but no bite. Prove me wrong right now, you said, lifting your arms. Hani felt a small bit of regret for riling you up, but they were too eager to toss you around. They smirked and tossed her their jacket aside as well. Upon doing so, boys cheered and whistled. No quirks, just fists. Unless you're too weak, said Hani. Fine by me. Come at me, bro, you said, sticking out the middle finger. In an instant, Hani came running towards you with a retracted fist. You took in a breath and focused as they lunged at you. You put a hand to her forearm and another to her to their stomach and used their weight against them to cause them to flip. They landed on the floor with a loud thump and made a small groan in pain. The crowd whistled and cheered and you lifted an arm in triumph, causing them to cheer even louder. You should have kept your attention to Hani because when you turned back to them, a fist made contact with your nose. 
Tamaki's POV. A boring period just ended, and I rushed out to avoid the crowded halls. I made my way to Ryan's class and smiled at the thought of walking them home. Usually, we would go out on our way home, and that would always be fun. As I regained my focus, I was surprised to see a large crowd around right in front of Ryan's class. Great, I thought to myself. There was a loud thud, and people started cheering loudly. A fight? Who'd be dumb enough to... Why again? Why again? Why again? The crowd cheered. I nearly snapped my neck by how quickly I turned when I heard that. Was Ryan in a fight? Why? They should know better. I snaked my way through the crowd to confirm whether or not my girlfriend... My partner was engaged in a fight when I finally made my way through the crowd a very angry looking honey punched Wyan square in the nose a loud crack could be heard and many cringed at the noise Wyan reeled back and grabbed her nose but when she put her hands in front of her her eyes their eyes widened a steady flow of blood made its way down their face they looked angry at honey and attempted to punch them back I used my crick and launched octopus arms at, at the two of them to separate them. It's a good thing I had some octopus dumplings for lunch. Wyan, what the heck are you doing? I yelled. Sh sh them and Honey were utterly confused for a second, but caught up when they saw me. Wyan's face twisted in anger as they struggled under my grasp. Tomiki. Let me go, or I swear to God, I'm not buying you ice cream after this, they yelled. Some people booed, but I ignored them. No, you're going to calm down, and we're going to recovery, girl, okay? I shouted. I don't like to yell at Wyan, but this seemed to be the only way to get to them. I waited for their response, but they just looked down for a second, thinking... Okay, 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 keep that thing away from me, they said, as they pointed to Hani. I chuckled and placed them both down gently. Wyang glanced at Hani, and they both sent daggers at each other. Bitch, said Hani. Seaward, said Wyang. That's enough of you two, I said, as I pulled Wyang away from the scene. I had I had my right hand over their shoulder and the other holding their arm. This allowed me to keep them as close to me as possible. Mwah. Recovery girl kissed Wine's nose and put a band-aid on it. Honestly, kids these days need to be nicer to each other. I expected more from you, Wyan, she said, crossing her arms. Creep sister, I thought. Sorry, ma'am, Wyan said nervously. They really admired Recovery Girl, so they must have felt ashamed to have been scolded by her. You should be. Tamaki, straighten her out. And with that, she left. Here, I said, as I handed Wyan a juice from a vending machine. Thank you, she said, they said, while grabbing it. They held it in their hands without opening it. Wyan, I said. Y yeah? Why did you end up in a fight? You seem so angry. I've never seen you like that before. They hesitated and looked me in the eye. Hani was telling people that I don't serve you and that our relationship is a joke. I was just mad. My eyes widened in surprise. You did th that for me? I asked. They nodded. I laughed a little and cupped their cheeks. I put my forehead to hers. I'm flattered, but I don't want you doing irrational things if it means you're gonna get hurt. I need you to be in one piece. Be careful, okay, Wyan? They smiled and lifted their head to kiss my nose. I'll be careful 
Next time that Banshee says something bad, I'm gonna bury her six feet without getting a single scratch. Wait, that's n not what I meant. I tried to say, but they were already jogging around the room, pumping their fists in the air. I sighed and smiled, seeing how things turned out. I was happy that Wyan was okay. This just meant that I needed to keep a closer eye on them to make sure they don't get into any trouble, which I wouldn't mind doing much myself. That was the Tomaki X listener. Hope you all enjoyed. Yeah, I'll see you all next time. Happy almost Halloween, by the way, because this is going to be posted the day before Halloween. And that's when you get the really everywhere fan fiction that I made. So I hope you guys have fun with that. Um, anyway, I hope you all enjoy, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!